the top 1% of men have perfected their sleep so that in the next day they can be as productive as possible and have a better quality life overall with improved mood, testosterone and focus. To perfect sleep, there are many things you can do, but this does not mean it has to be complicated. Your body has a circadian clock, which is a clock in your body and cells that last around 24 hours. This is how the body knows when to sleep and wake up, and this is flexible with certain factors. To improve quality and quantity of sleep, you actually also have to improve wakefulness as a result. This can be done by viewing sunlight in the morning for 10 to 20 minutes. It creates signals to be sent from your retina that it is the morning. This increases your wakefulness during the day and creates sleepiness when it's time to sleep. I need to emphasize that you have to view sunlight, not any light, and this does not mean directly at the sun, it just means the sky, even if it's cloudy. While viewing sunlight is the most important factor in this, you can improve wakefulness and hence sleepiness by increasing core body temperature. Because sleep is where you reach your temperature minimum and wakefulness is where you reach your temperature maximum. By eating in the morning, this tells your body that it is the morning as it heats your body. A cold shower, surprisingly, also heats your body as the cold you feel in your skin tells your body and creates signals to heat up to counteract it. Furthermore, another way of heating the body up is exercise. The best time to exercise is 30 minutes after you wake up. But if this doesn't fit your schedule, then 3 hours or 11 hours after you wake up is the second best. Don't worry, if none of this fits your schedule, mind wake up does not either. But what you can do is a light exercise, like a light run in the morning, 30 minutes after you wake up to get the heart beating and your temperature rising. Now caffeine, I think it is inevitable to talk about caffeine. But before we talk about how we can optimize it, let's think about how it actually works. Because surprisingly, most people don't. Caffeine blocks the hormone adenosine, which builds up the more you are awake and creates that feeling of sleepiness. This means that when caffeine stops, the adenosine that was originally there as well as the adenosine that built up will all come into effect and that causes the caffeine crash. It has to also be noted that there is no adenosine in the first 90 minutes that you are awake. So there's literally no point taking caffeine then. When you do crash, it may be beneficial to do a non-sleep deep rest like meditation or yoga. This will restore wakefulness without ruining sleep at night. There are also many other benefits to meditation that I might go over in another video. There is this big agenda against blue light in the evening as it could increase wakefulness and will prevent sleepiness. But this is misleading as yes, while this is true, other light will also induce this effect. So just blocking blue light but being exposed to other light is counterproductive. If you do tend to look at lots of light in the evening or night, what you can do to minimize these effects is by looking at the evening sunset, preferably sunset. Like how we increase our body temperature when we wake up, we should aim to reduce our temperature when we sleep. This means making the room we sleep in cooler, like using a fan or air conditioning. We can also take a hot shower and this would reduce our core body temperature. Many people claim that our core makes them sleep better, but what it does, it fragments your sleep. So while it can help you fall to sleep faster, it significantly reduces your sleep quality. So avoid alcohol. There are many supplements we can take to improve sleep. The most researched is magnesium threonate, apigenin, and theanine. These should be taken 30 to 60 minutes before sleep. If you are thinking of taking any supplements, consult it with your physician first. Here are some bonus tips to sleeping faster. Eye masks can block out any light that lands in your eye, which can potentially wake you up and therefore increases your sleep quality. Elevating your feet when sleeping can be better beneficial for your depth of sleep. Nose breathing when sleeping can also prevent sleep near. You can ensure you are nose breathing by using a medical tape to keep your mouth shut. Nose breathing can also create a sharper jawline and this is explored in the video above. Final tip is that a lower sleep time by having a consistent average sleep time is better than a highly varied sleep time. For example, sleeping for 4 hours on one day then 5 and then 4 on the following days is better than sleeping 8 hours on one day then 4 and 6 the next, even though the total sleep time is higher. That was a lot of information guys, but don't worry, I made an article for it, linked in the description, so you can go back over any stuff you missed.